Hey folks, Lemonade here, and today we have two pads from the legendary Lethal Gaming Gear, the Venus and the Mercury. We put them both in one video just because there are a lot of similarities, a couple differences, but I think it's going to be interesting to dive into this. So let's... All right, folks, quick disclaimer before we get started. Lethal Gaming Gear did send me their products free of charge for review, but that does not change my final opinion here and it never will on any product of this channel. Let's get into the nitty gritty in the details. Quickly, the box, super nice, nice designs on these. They get the job done, but high quality packaging. So that's a thumbs up for me. Good job, Lethal. In terms of sizing, they come in all the same sizes except one. So the Mercury here comes in a 490 by 410 that's what i have on my desk the next size up from there is a 500 by 500 but that is only available on the venus so exclusive to that and that's what we have here there are two other sizes there are desk pad sizes 1000 by 500 and then 1200 by 550 for the large boy they all come in four millimeter thickness across the line pricing is 29.99 up to 59.99 for those desk pads uh, the Mercury, by the way, is on sale currently for 50% off, and it has been for a while, and we'll get into the pricing a little bit later in the video, but that's a, a stellar buy. All the pads are made in Taiwan. In terms of similarities of pads, no coating on them, uniform X and Y, both use a very standard natural rubber base. I have zero issues on my desk. The logo is raised on all of their pads. You can actually feel it. And normally, I wouldn't have a concern for this because it's in the bottom right corner and you're never going to get to that corner. But my concern is when you wash the pads. So eventually, you're going to want to wash these pads with some soap, light soap and, and warm water, something like that. That may cause an issue with this. I'm not 100% sure because this is not in the surface. It's not stitched in. It's just kind of printed on. So I would kind of keep an eye on this. Maybe Lethal Gaming here can comment if they have any concern of this or have had um, issues with this after washing. So just keep an eye on this particular area. Humidity control has been stellar. It's better than my old glorious mouse pad. So that's a huge plus. No concern here. And I live in a very humid state in the US. So I'm probably the worst case scenario. Now let's talk some of the differences here. Starting with the Mercury, uh, the surface is slightly rougher, hardly noticeable, but you can't feel it. Um, similar dynamic friction to the Venus, but you have a less static friction. So the, the kind of those smaller inner hand movements are more freeing on the Mercury. Uh, stitching for me is more level. It's pretty much exactly flat with the surface no QC issues, super tight, awesome stitching on this particular pad. Now, in terms of the glide, I tested it back and forth, back and forth. I do this on all my mouse pad videos. The fastest glide you're going to find is on PTFE feet, four corner design like the Glorious mouse here, or this kind of hybrid design on the Viper V2 Pro. Both were pretty much spot on. Larger PTFE feet like you would find on like a Logitech mouse or something like that. These are a little bit slower in terms of their that initial kind of movement and glide. Glass feet are always going to be just a little bit slower and you're you're more going to feel it on that inner hand movement it's just a little bit more tug and these are broken in several month old super glides so i would you know i tell folks all the time super glides they're really fast out of the box but after a few months they do dial down in speed so keep an eye on this if you like that level of control on your smaller inner hand movements great but if you don't i'm not sure i can recommend glass feet on most surfaces and this is across the board that i've tested all my mouse pads with and it's just the same story back and, and forth, unless it's a maybe hard surface. That's probably the only one where these would benefit from. All right, now on to the Venus. So again, like I was saying with the Mercury, the surface here is super similar. It is slightly smoother. So if you don't necessarily don't like that rougher feeling, I guess you can kind of avoid it here, but they're both kind of rougher pads just to note, uh, but less of that. Similar dynamic friction, like I was saying, there is more static friction, those smaller inner hand movements, you'll feel a little bit more control, but it, it's not a control pad, it's not muddy in any sense, but there is a small difference to note. 
stitching on this one unfortunately was all over the place and i'm not sure if this is just par for the course for the saturn or maybe the size of this one or maybe i just had a bad batch or a bad one sent my way uh, but qc on this one there's already fraying in this corner which i never hit um there's kind of crimping on some of the stitch area it feels very wavy the surface doesn't lay flat even after weeks of testing and laying it on top of other pads super flat area it's it's the only pad really in my collection that has this kind of like waviness across it. You can see on the logo here how it's like not level and kind of bubble up. And I've, I've curled it and tried all my all different ways to, you know, to, to get it to fix. And it just doesn't want to lay flat. It's not an uh, it's not an issue in my play area here where I normally am playing. It's perfectly fine, but it is a bit of an eyesore. So it's something to know, you know, if you're ordering, unfortunately, you know, I got to say it like it is. I only get one shot when they send me a pad and this, this is what I got uh, for the Venus here. In terms of fastest glide in the skates, it's the same exact story. Again, because these pads are so similar, there's subtle differences. It's exactly the same way your PTFE feet, especially with the smaller PTFE feet are going to be uh, faster and then your glass feet are going to be a little bit slower on this surface. Performance in game. I've done well in the games I'm currently playing, which uh, are Shadowline and Battlefield 5, Battlefield 2042. I've been having a blast and I haven't really noticed any performance difference or slump between either of these pads. I'd recommend them for faster arcade FPS shooters, but I have seen people with the Venus in particular play tack shooters. So, you know, obviously mileage is going to vary and it's going to depend per person. My I was kind of trying to think of which one I should recommend, and I'll get to that shortly after, but I kind of made a brief, or not brief, but small kind of guideline. I would say if you play on a 33 centimeter, 360 or less, so a higher sense, I would get the Mercury down there. It's just gonna help with those inner hand movements, but if you play on something like a 37 plus, especially if you're like 40 centimeter, 360 and up, I'd probably get the Saturn. It's just gonna help with the larger movements. You're getting a little bit more friction across the board. My personal choice though would be the Mercury for how close they are. I do prefer less tug on my inner hand movements. And the Mercury really is the one that plays the best for my particular play style. Even though I have a kind of middle of the road, and I will, I would say that if you kind of fall in the middle between 33 and 37 uh, on, on your 360, then realistically, either one's probably gonna function just fine. It's just if you're kind of leaning more towards speed or more towards control then you're gonna you kind of kind of figure out where you land in that kind of guideline i set there all right i'm gonna pull up the website real quick we'll go over a couple things on design and pricing and then we'll kind of close off here folks okay as you can see here the mercury is on sale for the 50 percent off on all their sizes so you can get the 490 by 410 size for 15 bucks that is a stellar deal highly recommended they do have a, a speed chart here but again i think it's a little bit misleading it's yeah, I mean, it's right, the Mercury is faster, but it's hard to tell how much faster just based on this chart. You can see all the details here. And then as you can see, it only comes in black. Same with the Venus pricing and all the details are there. On that note, I would, if lethal, if you're watching this, I would hope, hope that maybe we can see some color and design choices down the road. I did have these two tabs up here and I am hoping this is a kind of sign that they may be coming, the Saturn, and Nacho Customs collaboration. This just launched a couple months back, and uh, even though it's only for the Saturn and two colorways, it's good to see that they are exploring options here in terms of design. Their new Pro lineup just launched about a week ago, and they have that in red, so hopefully their baseline, we can see some splash of color, some design. I think that really sets a brand apart in this day and age, when you're making good quality pads for affordable prices hopefully you know even the box design if you could bring a little bit of that element right across the pad man that would be stellar at the end of the day folks i really don't think you're going to make a wrong decision whether you pick the mercury or the venus they're both respectable pads coming from an awesome company at a fair price point don't beat yourself up over the decision too hard but hopefully the information i provided you today gives you kind of a clear understanding of the differences all my socials are down below along with any affiliate links and discount codes. Unfortunately, I don't have anything with Lethal Gaming Gear yet. But on that note, if you had a good time with me today, likes and subs are always appreciated. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding these pads or anything else. But until the next Fresh Squeeze video, stay thirsty, folks.